Hello everyone, in this video we will go through a list of VS Code extensions that you must try to enhance your developer experience. The first one that we have is called Turbo Console Lock. Let's go to our VS Code and here I just have a React project open to demonstrate the plugins we will go through. Let's open up the extensions tab from the left panel and look for Turbo Console Lock. As the name suggests, this extension makes it easier for you to add console log statements in a more meaningful way. Now let's see how we can use this. Let's say for example in this file I want to console log the value of balance. To do this I simply select the variable and press Ctrl Option L on Mac and Ctrl Alt L on Windows and it automatically inserts a beautiful log statement below the variable with all the necessary details. This is definitely a great way to organize your console logs while debugging. Next up, we have Indent Rainbow. Let's go back to our extensions tab and search for Indent Rainbow. And as you can tell, what this plugin does is it adds different colors across different indentations, which is super helpful if you're writing or editing big nested code blocks and would like to know where the nested brackets or tags start and end. Next, we have git lengths. I'm sure many of you might have heard of this one. What this plugin does is it gives you a deeper understanding of how the code was changed over time and by whom. It's a must have if you're working in a team or on a project which has gone through multiple revisions. Using GitLens is pretty easy. To see who made changes to the code, you just click on the line of code you want to see and it gives you a detailed information of when this code was edited, what was the commit number and what all changes were made. Next we have Prettier. As the name suggests, it's a great tool to keep your code formatting consistent across projects. And you can also customize the code formatting settings the way you want. After installing, I would highly recommend to change your VS Code settings to make Prettier the default formatter and also update the format on save option which will basically apply the formatting whenever you save a file. To change these settings, you can open up the command palette using command shift P and search for user settings. And if you open up the JSON format, you can simply paste those settings in this JSON object. And this will make Prettier your default formatter. And with format on save, if you make any changes to a file which is not in accordance with the formatting specifications, whenever you save the file, Prettier will automatically reformat it as per your settings. Moving on, we have ESLint. And if you regularly work with JavaScript, this is a must have plugin as it automatically analyzes your code to find problems and highlights them for you to fix. Next, we have Code Snap. If you have ever wanted to take a snapshot of your code, let's say to add to a blog post or share with people on social media, then this extension is exactly for you. It lets you take snapshot of your code as images, which you can share anywhere. To use this plugin, simply search Code Snap in the command palette. Then all you have to do is select the code you want to make a snapshot of. Then by going to the code snap window and by clicking the snap icon, you can save this image anywhere on your system. Next, we have image preview. This one's really great when you're working with images in your project. More often than not, I've messed up parts of images in the project only to realize when I see them in the browser. But this extension makes it really easy to work with images because when you import an image and hover over the image path, this plugin directly shows you the image, its size and its dimension. And all these details are super useful to make sure you're using the right image in your project. This one is my absolute favorite to keep track of package sizes as we import and use them in our projects. All you have to do is install the extension and whenever you import a package, for example, in this file, I'm importing React as this is a React project. The extension automatically displays the size of the package right next to it. 
along with its size in production if you are using gzip compression. And using this extension, you can proactively understand what all packages are impacting the size of your project. Next, we have Edit CSV. This extension is super useful if you work a lot with CSV files. What this extension does is it helps you edit CSV files within the editor, which is super useful if you are writing a code surrounding CSV and need to change data from time to time. To use this extension, simply open up a CSV file within your editor. And on the top right corner, you'll see a button to edit the CSV. Clicking on this button activates the extension, which opens up the CSV file in a nice Excel-like format where you can edit any value and directly save that to the file. Next, we have auto rename tag. What this extension does is it makes it easier for you to rename opening and closing tags if you're working a lot with HTML files. This is also very useful while working with a React application as changing the starting tag automatically renames the ending tag. Next plugin we have is called Random Everything. This is a great plugin which helps you generate random data, which you can use as mock data while developing your application. To use this plugin, you can simply create the layout of your data. Let's say in this case, we are creating a dummy data for a bunch of users. And every user would have a name and an email. Now I can just copy paste this object a bunch of times, depending on how much data I want to populate. And to use random everything, I can simply select the place where I want to insert the random data and look for random everything in the command palette. For the first key, I'm looking for a name. So let's just go with the full name. And this will insert random names for each object. And I can repeat the same for email and look for random emails, which will populate random emails in those fields. This is a great way to mock data and test out your application during development. Next plugin that we have is auto open markdown. This plugin is really useful if you work a lot with markdown files as it automatically generates a real-time preview of Markdown files that you're working on. To use this plugin, simply click on a Markdown file and it opens up a split view where you can see how your Markdown file would look when it's previewed. And the best part about this is all your changes are reflected in real time. Next one that we have is called Code Spell Checker. This one is really useful to make sure you write correct spellings in your code base. And the best part about it is it is available in a lot of languages. And if you prefer to name your variables, functions, or components in a different language, you can use this plugin to make sure the spellings are always correct. And how this plugin works is if you type an incorrect spelling, it underlines the word with blue and lets you know that this is an unknown word. And you can simply fix it by going to quick fix and using the suggestions it provide. Or if you're trying to add in a new custom word, you can just add it to your workspace. For our case, I'll just revert it back to balance. And the last one we have is called to do tree. This plugin is very useful. If you leave a bunch of to do's or fix me in your projects that you would like to get back to in future and fix at some point. And how this extension works is, Wherever you want to add a to-do in your project, you can simply add a comment that starts with to-do and add in the comment that describes the task. For this example, let's say we want to integrate users with backend in future. And to get a quick look of all the to-dos in your project, you can simply navigate to the to-do tree icon on the left panel. And when you expand on the project, it will give you a list of files which have a to do or a fix me item. And to view them, you can simply expand the files and see the list of to do's that are out there. This is super useful to track enhancements or things you would like to do in future. If you like this video, do subscribe to the channel. And if you know more awesome extensions, feel free to leave a comment about them below. And finally, thank you for watching this video.